assigned to my home between the hours of 7 p.m. and 3 a.m. Yes. There was this this sense of host that washed over me at that moment. I actually link. Got I mean, pin. I was so happy to be here. Yes. Those are all my links because everyone asked me about everything. Come here, dog. My dog likes to lick lotion off my Come on, Marge. Hi. Hi. I'm so bored. Dogs love lotion and oils. I just put lotion on. I've never been to Houston. Roughly about a two week period that I didn't feed this all right, person at all. I don't want you the to get sick. The it's lotion. It's not supposed to be for human consumption. In the sense that they deterred them from coming Hi, everyone. Come here, baby. Come here, Marge T. This is my senior baby. Mm, I love you, Marge. Somebody who had okay. ordinarily come around it's my chunky bear. times a week for many, many months um, suddenly hadn't come around my house anymore. So. I'm obsessed with this show called Obsess. You said try New York, Manhattan. It's freezing. I was out the other night. You said there's a rodeo in Houston? I've never been to a rodeo. That sounds interesting. I rode the mechanical bull before in Los Angeles. You know that one in that famous bar on, um, I think it's on Sunset Strip. I noticed that there it hurt. I wasn't into it. I was like... Still wasn't seven o'clock. I don't do roller coasters either. Hi, Miss Purdy. Yeah. Oh, my dog has got stress in her muscles. I had every Oh God, you have pink eye. No. So I'm obsessed with this show called Obsessed on Hulu. It's a series, you know, the the real true story of the stalkers. Come on, they're attacking me. I'm anxiously waiting for this tactical unit who had been watching my house to suddenly descend upon my home and arrest this person and it would all be over. Nothing's happening. There he goes. Still walking down the driveway. This guy's been coming up to her window every night with a video camera and filming her. This is really, like, I'm hooked on these shows. There's like true crime. went off inside of my mind that just said... I just want to find out where he goes to. I just, I just want to see where he, where he parks his. Truck. Many weirdos. Where here. does this guy go? Lady, leave me alone. I know who you are. Leave me alone. Stop. Oh my Stop. God! Look at this love. There's no love like this. Stop looking in my windows. When I touch her here, her little leg clicks. Gabor, get off of her. Times in my windows. Go to get my phone out. But my dog holding needs love. Power and holding power down and I was on live earlier in a restaurant and they kicked me off because of the music playing in the restaurant. Like, who even thinks of that stuff? They're like, oh, you could get kicked off of Instagram if you do it again. Yeah, Tinder Swindler was cute. Oh, look at this smiling dog. Oh, my dog's tense. My dog needs dog massages. Yes, love Marge Tiffany. Oh, we love you, Marge Tiffany. So she I got. He was going to drive away, <sighs> rape me, and kill me. She went after the stalker. She jumped in the back of his pickup truck. She's like, I had enough of you. How about that? Hi, Anita. So everyone, I appreciate y'all wishing me well, but I was in the hospital over like a year and a half ago. That wasn't recent. The thing I posted was it yesterday. Don't lick my boobs. That's weird to me now. Thanks, baby. Oh, look at that little stomach. Oh, that's chunk. That's a chunky bear. Come on, stop. I'm fine. I'm not in the hospital. I was in the hospital a year and a half ago, guys. That was a while ago. I just put the video because it was a Sunday inspirational moment. It went with, it went with the video. Like it went with like the, you know, the words. I'm trying to be creative, like a little, little Steven Spielbergish. There's motion at my front door. Come here, dog. This one loves hands, hand massages. 
No, it was a year and a half ago, guys. But thank you for the love. Oh, I love you, dogs. Oh, this is my little bad one right here. This is the little thug life. So innocent, but so bad. Hi, Elsie. Yes, I love Elsie. Come on, y'all. Come on, they're attacking me. <laughs> they're attacking me. Leave me alone. Yes. So. He had been assigned to that tactical unit. And I, I didn't know that. I mean, I gotta rewind this part. What'd she say? So. Today. Yes, I love you too. Yes. Hi, Estelina. Estela. It's Estelina. Uh, your um, screen name comes up with the long name. One of my favorite, favorite followers and loyal customers of Serving Looks, Lip Glosses. You hear my baby? She's 14. You hear that little snoozy wheeze? I'm sitting here being stared down by two dogs. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love all this attention. Yes, Estella. Exactly. But it's like Estella Nina on Instagram. It's all one word. Yes. Look at this. Look how funny this is. Look. When I hit her, when I scratch her here, her leg goes like a little piece of chicken. Look. Look. The leg is automatic. It's like a nerve. It's so funny. Oh, you are waiting for your lip gloss. You know what? You're right. You want, yes, you're right. I haven't even had a minute. I got to really, uh, I sent some packages out today. I got to um, send you your gold gloss. I didn't forget. I did forget. I had a doctor's appointment today. I will mail it out to you tomorrow. Estella. Come here, dog. What you want, dog? See what the other one does? Now this one got a comp. She got two. Now I'm going to send it out tomorrow because you need your gloss, honey. Yes. Yes. Look at this. You want to do what your sister does? Huh? You want to do what your sister does? Mm. God, I'm obsessed. God. How could God make stuff this cute? Little humans. Little doll bears. I didn't call my family to tell them that this had happened. You bought an 1892 story. house? Yes. The last thing I wanted yes. To yes. I love historical. Yes. Oh, God. Now they're fighting. That night, I didn't sleep at all. One is four and one is 14. Every horror movie that I'd ever watched Who wants the squeaky chicken? Was flashing through my head. Beyond spoiled, Anita. Beyond. I knew that night I... Yes, my older dog has modeled on the runway several times. She's been on Love and Hip Hop, and she's been in magazines and did centerfolds. Marge Tiffany is a star. At Marge Tiffany is my dog's page. Hi, Tommy McDonough. One of my favorite followers. I know, poor Tommy. He's living um, with a similar situation I had taking care of his grandmother who has dementia. It's not easy. Come here, dog. Come here, baby. This one's so angel. This one is such an angel. She can do no wrong. God, you're a snuggy bear. Mm, I love you so much. God, I love you. No, it's not. People don't understand how hard it is. A couple of days later, after the email to yes. the police, I came home. I Marge keeps getting the teary shocked. eyes, and I keep wipe, whiting, uh, wiping them, but the teary eyes keeps coming. Look at them little teary eyes. Don't cry. Kenny's good. Kenny's busy. Kenny did gig. He calls them gigs all weekend, weddings and stuff. You know he's a drummer. I actually think I got kind of teary because I was so happy to be heard. 
Oh, God, I love massaging my dogs. Gabor's down there acting jealous. Oh, Marge loves this. See the, you can see my dog smiling. Yes, I'm so bored. I expected the end to come that evening. Cranking the norm. Who's the photographer that you had that did the profile pic? Me. Out of two week period, Me. I didn't see this person. With my tripod. The fact that the tactical units were there. And my app. Their job in the sense so I did it myself with my tripod. To my house. That I got off of um, AliExpress. It was like $38. It came in like two weeks. It wasn't that bad. Somebody who had. It has the phone holder. It has a light months. attached to it. And it even has a microphone. I didn't use the microphone, of course. I haven't used it yet. Suddenly hadn't come around yes. I know. I need to do some food videos. I got to start making a, a filming schedule. So hard to do all this stuff. In that so. He might not show up. Thank you. So I was about to go out that night. So I said, let me take some pictures of myself. And I did. And then. I have that. It's called Photo Room app. It just takes you out, and then you can put any background. So I just put an all-black background because I thought that would be a nice contrast with the white and the pink. That there any that it turned out good, right? Thank you. I am nanny. I can't read it. It's a long name. I had every confidence in the world that they were going to Hi, Philip Marcel Photography. Yes. So, yeah. So I've been taking my own pictures a lot lately. Listen, if you wait around on other people, let's talk about that tonight. Let's talk about not depending on others. Can we talk about that? Listen, no woman or man is an island. But if you sit around and wait for stuff, you said, I'm glad you're going out again. Live your life. You live in one of the most cosmopolitan areas in the world. Yes. I need to be on the scene. New York needs me. I realized this the last few times I've been out. Thank you, Estella. I'm going to... um. Wrap up your lip gloss tonight and invoice you, boo. So I don't forget, Miss Goldie. She wants the gold that I have. I finally got the There's Royal Crown Collection. Them. Instead of all mattes, I got some in gold now. So let me pause this. Hold on. Let me pause my show. So what was I going to say? So listen, of course we need help with things. That's fine. But if I tried to like get content and wait for somebody to come over every day to take pictures, I would never have it because I don't like people in my house anyway. You know what I'm saying? So this little, um, and it has the remote control. It's giving me life. It's better than having somebody literally stand there because then, you know, you can just go back. You, you take, take like one test one to see the lighting. You see the angle. Then you just move it around on the, the tripod. You know what I'm saying? And then you just... Pew, 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 I really don't want people in my house. I don't, I swear I'm becoming very reclusive. And I'm going to tell you why. Being an influencer, uh, public figure, television personality, whatever. People are crazy. And I don't act famous. I don't think I'm famous. Like I've been modeling since I've been 12. I've been doing television work you know, all my life, TV, extra stuff. Fine. I'm just popular. Whatever. But people make it to be more than what it is. And when you tell them politely, like, no, I don't want to hang out with you. Or no, you can't have my phone number. Or something. They start stalking you. Or making fake pages of you. Harassing you. I don't understand it. I have every right to say, I don't want to be friends with you in my real life. You can't force yourself on me. I don't know you. And that goes for men and women. But they they get really fucking crazy about it. Like, they're expecting me to do something for them. Like, put them on in the industry or something. Like, I'm not even anywhere near where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, what can I do for you? But that's what people think. They think because they meet you that you're automatically and you're nice because I'm I'm nice regardless. You know what I'm saying? I'm super nice. But sometimes they take that as, oh, well, maybe I can ask her for this. Maybe I can do this. And you do one nice thing, then they keep expecting it. 
they keep being in your DMs. Tell you have to block them or mute them. Yeah. Like, I don't mind. Like, sometimes, like, if I met you or something or you're, like, a woman-owned business and you tag me on, like, you're doing a pop-up shop or your product or something. It's nothing to me to throw it up in my post. I met you in person. You were very polite. Sometimes you don't, you don't got to even ask me. I'll put it in my post and tag you. Who cares? That's cool. Then they start begging and asking all the time. I had a guy in my DM almost every day. And I had to tell him, stop it. Like, oh, hey, can I get a shout out? Hey, fam, can I get a shout out? Hey, because I met you at a pop-up shop. And I posted you. You gave me uh, an outfit. I gave it away to the, the women's shelter. Because I'm not walking around with your logo on when I have my own clothing line. Because I guarantee if it was reversed, they would be asking me for money to do that. Pro- I promise you. So me posting you in the first place is, is enough. Because I charge for posts. It's marketing. It's advertisement for your business, your product, your brand. It's business. It's not personal. You do it. Exactly. I have men talking to themselves for years. Exactly. You do it one time, though. They want to keep asking and keep asking. No, 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 no. That's my shit. Don't don't keep asking me. If I want to do something, I'm going to do it. Like out of the kindness of my heart. But then don't take it for granted. So, I'm good. I just, you know, I'm real weird about that type of shit. It's like people, people just, they take your kindness for weakness. And then it's, you know, you can't win. But I don't care. Let me tell you something. Yes. Oh, you sold it to someone in Kentucky? Oh, yes. Estella, see, like Estella. She was making baskets for um, Thanksgiving. I mean, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day. She didn't even have to ask me. Of course, I'm going I asked her. Send me something to post. Hi, little HUD. That's my ex's son. But she's been such a loyal customer of mine and a sweetheart. And I met her in person twice. She's come to support me. It's going great. Guys, I'm revamping the website. Elsie, I don't know if she's still on here, is rebranding everything. We launch April 1st. So Estella makes baskets for Valentine's Day. She don't have to ask me. She supports me. I'm going to support her because she's a real one. She's not one of these fake, like, trying to come up. You know what I'm saying? She didn't even have to ask. I asked her to send me something because I appreciate her. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference. She's not high schizo. She's not in my DM every day begging me to post for her for free. She's not even, she's not even making these baskets full time. And I would have bought a basket if I had a Valentine, which let's go to the next topic. I don't want a Valentine. I don't want a man. I don't want to be in a relationship. And I don't want to get married. And I know that sounds crazy to so many people. But guess what? Who says you got to have a man to be happy? I can't stand. I love you. I can't stand so many women I know. It's like, oh, when I meet a man, oh, I want to meet a man. Like that's the end all be all of of life. Who's saying that's going to make you happy? I've had some great relationships, but a lot of them, I was fucking miserable. I couldn't wait to be single again. So it's like, you know, everybody out here looking for a man, looking for a man. Slow down. I don't want somebody I have to answer to and be bothered with. It's a whole full-time job. I like my freedom. I want to keep my options open. If I want to get up and go with someone, I'm going. I'm happy. And people, you said Chrissy, but nobody wants to be alone. That's that's not true. I ain't nobody. I love being alone. I don't got somebody snoring, blowing up my bathroom, questioning me, blowing up my phone. Eating all the food. Just, I'm good. Nah. Annoying me, smoking weed. I'm good. Because most guys that I've dated in my whole life all smoke weed. I don't know what it is. I'm just, we. you know, I'm like the the more, 
um, talkative one. And they be the like more calm, like chill. So it's like the yin and the yang. Like they're the calm ones and I'm like the hyperactive one. So it's like it it works. But um, no, I don't have anybody giving me D. And I don't want it. Like who wants to upset your pH balance? Let's think about it. A lot of times as women, and we can we can deny this all we want. A lot of our shit gets thrown off. Urinary tract infection, bacterial vaginosis, yeast infections, all that. It's true. When you have sex a lot, it should be throwing your shit off. Then you got to go get the flagell and the monostat. Let's be 100. Anyone sexually active, it's happened to you. So... I just don't even, yeah, using your hairbrush. Um, oh, their hair's in the drain of the bathtub. You got to clean up after them. It's just too much. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy being alone. I'm alone, but I'm far from lonely. I have a very great circle of friends. I read books. I play with my pets. I watch my shows. I eat my snacks. You know what I'm saying? So it's, I mean, it's just the facts. Like, and then they always like, they, they always want to have sex. Sometimes you don't feel like having sex. And then they give you the whole guilt trip. And, oh, my balls hurt. And this, like, I'm supposed to feel sorry for you because your balls hurt. Like, (laughs) I had an ex like that. Yeah. 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 So. You never had a man. You had boys. I'm 49 and I never had a man. Can we retract that statement, sir? I I seriously think I may have had a man or two in between the time I started dating as a teen. Between then and now. I'm sure they all weren't boys. Let's get that straight. <laughs> so, you know, I don't want kids. I've made this very clear many times. Um, I've been engaged four times. I've been there, done that. I've been in like 10 year relationships. It was hell. The emotional roller coaster, the ups and downs, the crying to the Mary J. Blige in the car when he cheats on you. It sucks. I'm very happy in my little zone. I got little collections of... I got a Barbie collection. I got a sticker collection. I got all kind of little hobbies. I'm going to start making candles. I got two candle making kits from Amazon. I'm never bored. Oh, look. You're scared to start over. No, not at all. Listen, we have a psychiatrist on here. We have Rick the Ruler underscore 98. We have someone analyzing me and my dating patterns. He seems to know me better than I know myself. I, he says I'm scared to start over. Not at all. With the selection of trash that's out here, really ain't much to start over with. I'd rather not start at all. <laughs> it's not, and it's not being afraid of starting over. I, I'm afraid of wasting my time. Because 90% of these dudes want to waste your time. They want to have you in a rotation with other vaginas. Okay. Yeah, I know. He's going to get blocked in a minute if he wants to keep being sarcastic. So anyway, um, this is my page. You're coming on my turf. Don't get kicked out. And I'm being nice. For now. So... Why is it such a stigma with not wanting to be codependent and up somebody's ass and and they're up your ass and you got to have somebody like. I'm good. I don't need that drama. Being questioned and then they get insecure and then you got to deal with their childhood traumas and the way they were raised and their poor behavior or their good behavior. If sometimes they have good behavior, it's too much. And then they're, Oh, their ex-girlfriends. Hi, Casey. Their ex-girlfriends or child's mothers. 
all up in your fucking business, analyzing your page, showing her friends. I don't have time for it. Exactly, Estelina, but they want to treat you as an object. They want to treat you, objectify you a lot. So it's, you know, you can't win. Then they want to say they're, you know, they're emotionally unavailable. They're hurt. You know, they've been hurt before. They're afraid they're going to get hurt again. Oh, someone cheated on them when they were 17. Who hasn't been cheated on? Get over it. <sighs> yeah, I'm not with the baby mama drama. Everybody's been hurt. Okay, and I'm definitely not afraid to fall in love again, but it has to be organic. I'm not out here trying to force shit for the sake of having company and just to have someone in my house and someone to do shit with. Thank you. Thank you, big, big heck protection. He said, I saw you at Rich Players, that's Fat Joe's manager, Rich Players, sweet sweetheart, 50th birthday party, and you look perfectly happy to me, LOL. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's, a, it's, the, it's the lonely hot bitch in the corner. She can't get a man. A man is the easiest thing to get. God, do walk outside. Walk outside. There's plenty of men out here. Thank you, Casey. But a lot of them don't even have shit to offer. Oh, and they all think you're using them for all their money. How the fuck am I using you for all your money? When you make, maybe you might make $50,000 a year. You can't even use you for all your money after your bills are paid. You ain't got shit left. How a bitch going to lose you? How a bitch going to use you for what you ain't even got? Let's keep that 100. Can we talk about that? And this 50-50 shit, kick rocks. Kick rocks. You need That means you're telling me you need financial aid in the form of me contributing to half the bills, right? And helping you out financially. You need financial aid. It ain't no build and, oh, you know what they say? Oh, it's equal. I thought women wanted equal rights. Yeah, in the workplace. In the workplace. I want to get paid as much as you do, sir, for doing the same job, mister. But when we're out on a date, you better treat me like the lady that you want me to be. And then I might think about being the little freak you want to be in bed later on, depending on how you act. And you're definitely paying the bill. You ain't going to embarrass me in public. You think I would ever pull my fucking wallet out in a restaurant and pay for the meal? How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Oh, a woman should treat me too. You got a vagina? Bitch, that's bitch behavior. Oh, God, thank God I have it in the Dropbox. My assistant is... um. Hitting me saying she deleted all the pictures of the lip glosses in the... Am I wrong? Casey kissing makeup nose. Like, I'm really going to look this good. Go get my nails done. Get dressed up in an outfit. Do my hair and makeup. Come meet you for dinner. And I'm going to pay for my own food to spend time with you. You wouldn't be asking me out in the first place if I didn't look like something. I'm good. Use you for all your money. You ain't got no money. Let's be a hundred. Then they'll have you. Look, they'll have you paying half the bills and cheat on you anyway. And they find money to go fucking a, a short stay and take the next bitch out, though. They find money for that behind your back. But they ain't got money to pay 100% of the bills? Fuck out of here. There's too many men. Oh, you want the gold, gold digger. It's on the um website. We're getting the website back together. But that's my thing. I'm good. What one man won't do, that's right. The majority of them are broke or credit card scammers. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that the other night, me and my girlfriends. These little young scammer guys, they're it right now. They're better than the truck dealers they had when I was growing up. The scammers are the new truck dealers. Okay? I ain't trying to get kicked off. Yes.
Listen, what is the... What is it to pay a food bill? And we don't got to go out to a $500 dinner. And I talked about this the other night. I don't want you to take me out to an expensive restaurant on the first date. Because then your simple-minded ass is going to really think I owe you some puss. And that's not the case. So I don't want a $500 meal. We can go right to the Olive Garden or Red Lobster. It don't got to be more than $100. Okay? It don't got to. Because I don't want you expecting more then you're getting because you ain't getting nothing. So, don't take me to an expensive meal on the first date. No, no, no. You probably saved up three months for that shit. Take me to damn Mr. Chow. Some Il Molinos. You going to think you taking me somewhere after that? No, no, no. For food? For food. For food. Listen, a woman knows if we want you or not. Okay? And honestly, if we know we're going to, we know we're going to fuck you or not. If we're meeting you on the first date. So, you know, we already know. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like, whatever. The vibe is there or it's not. It just is what it is. And like, the attraction, the chemistry is there or it's not. Like, it's like, you don't got to do all that. But, you know... I don't even I don't even waste guys time anymore because if I know I don't like them, I don't even want to go out to dinner with you. You buying me food is not going to change me being attracted to you nine times out of ten. But then again, let me not contradict myself because I've ended up falling in love with guys who I didn't like in the beginning that were corny or I didn't really like, but they grew on me with their personality. So I can't say that. You know what I'm saying? And it's a saying, what is it? Women, women who have their own money date who they want, not who they need. I have my own money. So it's, I date who I want. I don't need your money, but I'm going to need you to pay that bill when the waiter brings it at the end of the meal. Because I'm not spending my money to spend time with you. How's that work? Hmm. Oh, I love you, dog. Yes, lunch is quicker and less time wasted. Yeah, I don't even want to go on dates. So I'm on a dating app right now and I haven't even answered anybody because I already know they're going to try to catfish me. They're going to try to catfish me. Hi, Jersey Kitty. She hates it. They're going to try to catfish me or they're going to act like they got so much money and they're whack. They're like the Tindler Swindler. I love Olive Garden. People make fun of me for that, but I like Olive Garden. See, it's the McDonald's of Italian food. It really is. Think about it. The OG. Come here. Let me wipe them little tears from the... Wipe them tears from them little eyes. Yes, baby. She's got them little doggy tears. She loves me so much. Listen. I don't know one chick. And then they tell you, Oh, you're a gold digger. Okay, yes, and... And what am I supposed to be digging for? Dirt? Trash? I want the gold. Y'all out here working your ass off. You want money, right? Well, so do I. I want money too. Okay? Let's just see. If you ever need a bodyguard when you go to date with a catfish, let me know. I'm not even going on a date with none of them. They got to cash at me first. I need to deposit. I seriously need a don't waste my time deposit. Right? Because I can't be bothered. And I'm not I'm not the most young, hottest thing, but I think I'm the shit. And so do a lot of people. So you think I'm going to take time when I could be laying here with my little pets, talking to y'all, to get dressed up, put on heels that hurt my back and the arches of my feet, to go to the city to meet you, and then you probably boasting and bragging about a bunch of shit you really don't have. Or lying and saying you're single, but you really got a bitch at home. Or a newborn baby on the way you have forgot to tell me about. That's about to be born. And I'm doing all that for what? For what? Because I I want a boyfriend. I need a man. 
Oh, I can't be lonely. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. I would rather be here, right here with my dogs, talking to y'all, than waste my time. Because getting ready is a mission too. It's like over an hour doing hair and makeup and all that. To fucking drive to the city, waste the gas, to meet your lying ass. All right? We want a guy that's real, equal, honest, supportive guy. But yeah, listen, if I happen to meet someone, I will meet them. That's it. I'm not looking. Yes. That's another order. You hear that? See, I'm home making money. Listen. I done, I've been through it all. I had a pregnant woman jump on the hood of my car, hanging on to the windshield wipers. Didn't know about, you think I need the drama? 90% of y'all come with drama. Come on, you a real man. Yeah, a real lying ass man. And I'm not, a, I'm not man bashing. I'm not man hating. I love men. Most of my best friends are men. I get along great with men. You ain't wasting my time. You ain't going to not waste one motherfucking more minute of my time. These dudes want to play mind games, disrespect you, cheat, lie. Some of them steal. I'm good. It's hard out here. I'm good. And people are like, oh, well, maybe it's just the guys in New York. No, my friends in other cities have the same, same complaints. So I'm good. I just, you know what? I'm focused on my business. Let's be real. Let me be a little fair here. I'm focused on my business. I'm focused on my nonprofit. I was just on a three hour Zoom call with my fellow domestic violence uh, organizations, head of the organizations here uh, in the United States. We all have a network. Um, and, oh. I know. I, I don't I know sweetie's out in the um in the thing. My dad's, you know, second year of passing was the twenty third. I didn't really post about it because it's like I don't think it's anything to celebrate. Um, but you know, that was the two year mark of my father passing was on the twenty third. Yeah, I'm I'm um I'm focused. My book is just about done. My show's on Tubi. I got my business. I got the, the nonprofit. Like, my life is full. There's more kinds of love than love between men and a woman. You know that, right? You can experience love in a lot of ways. Oh, yeah, I'm focused on my crypto, everything. Um, Like, right now, I love the hell out of this dog. I got so much love in my heart right here for this baby. So, yeah. You know, um, yes. I know. I miss my dad. Yeah, so we do the um we did a Zoom call tonight um to try to get proactive of how we can, you know, join forces and get some things changed with these laws. You know what I'm saying? Because who else is going to do it if I don't do it, if other women like myself don't do it, then who's going to do it? Marge Tiffany, she can't talk. So yeah, you know, my whole thing is if you're not happy by yourself, you're not going to be happy with someone else. You can't look to someone else to make me happy like what you're a clown you're supposed to entertain me every night you're gonna stand there and sing for me and juggle like you're gonna be my entertainment and all that and then a lot of them are jealous of you thank you sash um oh thank you tommy like really you keep looking to somebody else to make you happy, then you're giving them the power to make you cry and make you real sad too. And once they know they got you, a lot of them like to play those games with the control. I don't got time for that. I've been through so much. I can't do it. I can't. See that? That's another sale. You keep hearing these noises? Ching, ching. That's what makes me happy. This moolah. Um... So, you know, it is what it is. No, me and Kenny, I, hi, aloha. Um, I allowed Kenny, we went to the uh, Indian restaurant the other night, and he 
he apologized for his behavior. It's only right. Look at this dog. And if you're a man and you can't come into my life and treat me better than I treat myself. I treat myself really good. What are we doing? They're insecure issues. Or they're all oh, they're alcoholics. I don't drink anymore. I don't want to be with an alcoholic. I don't drink anymore. I'd have one a week, maybe. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be on the same page as me. Or the you know what I'm saying? Like certain things. Remember the movie Waiting to Exhale? And Robin Givens was dating that club guy. And he took her to the party and they were all like sniffing and everything. Who wants to deal with that shit? And then he was came after the club and throwing oranges up there at her balcony. Like, hey, you raggedy bitch. And all that shit. Remember that? Like, those are the kind of dudes I be meeting. Those dysfunctional club, club losers. They're out at the club all night. They think they're going to come wake you up at 5 in the morning to deal with their stinking, alcoholic breath. Sweaty club hookah smelling ass. You smell like the club. You smell like a hookah. You smell like a humidor. You smell like a liquor store. Get away from me. So, yeah. But, nah. It, you know. And it's, you know. All that drunk shit. And then they want to say, oh, I don't remember. Because they were drunk. Cop out. Look at this dog, man. This dog loves me. So, yeah, I don't, I'm good, man. I'm in a great place. I'm in a great space. Like, I don't want all that dysfunction. Um, all None of that in my life. Yeah, man. The club losers, the 4 a.m. booty call. Oh, this is the this is the best one. And I've always never understood this. Yes, Michelle. They smell like a human cigarette. I've never understood this one. <laughs> in my club days when I was clubbing hard body. What you doing after the club? You mean at four in the morning? What am I doing at four in the morning? Going home, loser. And not with you. Not with you. What are you doing after the club? Where are you going after this? To the diner with my girlfriends and you're not invited. Unless you're coming to pay for us. Then you could still go home alone. Right, Marge T? Right, Margie T? Yeah, Layla Roshan. I thought it was, what's her name? What's her name? They look alike. They're both beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Layla Roshan is beautiful. Yes, remember cafeteria? Oh, my God. I used to be so drunk. Ugh, I went out with this Giants player to cafeteria, and I got so drunk, I couldn't even remember. Ugh, and nothing's worse than when a guy tries to get you super wasted and fuck you. Like, you really, like, you really want it if you got to get me that fucking inebriated and, and wasted, that that's the only way I want you, is if I'm that twisted, because you know if I was sober, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be with you. And then what's worse is when they get you that drunk, and then you still don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> like come on I might be a little a lot of drunk but I still am sober enough to know I don't want you big boot oh, didn't he, he was a big old big baby big bubba baby bear from Florida big old stomach she does look like Robin Givens exactly um, big old contract Dime a dozen. You athletes are no match for me. At all. At all. Exactly, dark skin wave. I want a woman to be sober so she can remember my moves. That's absolutely. Listen, I've dated models, rappers, athletes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, I don't name names. But let me tell you something. Y'all women out here chasing them type of men? Believe me. Don't waste your time. 95% of them are man whores. 
and a lot of them are cheap. I'll tell you what, though. The athletes are very cheap. Most of them are cheaper than the rappers. There are some. There's a few athletes that are very generous, I can say. But most of them, I wouldn't give $2 for. Like, I wouldn't even go on a second date. Their whole way of thinking is like, oh, you should just want me because of who I am. And I got this. And, you know, I'm, I'm a player. I'm a player for the New York Knicks. Yes. And you're going to be broke in five years. After you spend your money taking care of all your friends from back home. And I've seen it happen a hundred times. In the club. Buying mad bottles and don't even check the receipt. Getting robbed by the club. That take advantage. Mr. Smarty. Ugh, dog breath. Can I ask what's the most a guy spent taking you out? Ooh, well, it depends. Well, I mean, let's see. Just for one night? Let's see. Probably I've had, you know... Let me see. God, there's been so many times. Probably when a guy takes like me and four of my friends out and pays for everything. That's usually like been pretty good. Yeah, like a couple thousand spending, you know, bottles, champagne, all that shit. But I've gotten like nice gifts. You know what I'm saying? So I'm very spoiled. Look at this dog. And now it's like all I get are young guys. Yes. Oh my God. There is nothing left like Bungalow 8. I used to love. Yes. Asia de Cuba. Yes. Um, Bungalow 8 was very exclusive. It was cool. No, there's nothing left here, girl. There's no like good clubs. Like it sucks. No, it really sucks. You want to take me out this weekend? Send a deposit. It's like, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't want a deposit. I'm not going out with anybody. I'm not going out with nobody. I don't want to be out with nobody. I just don't even feel like talking to a guy. Because you know what they want? They want the cooch. I used to love Asia de Cuba. They had the stuffed fish. It was so good. You would love to take me out? Can I take you out tonight? To the movies, to the park. I'll have you home before it's dark. Can I take you out tonight? I know. My dogs love me. It's because I put I just put lotion on my whole body. Stop licking the lotion. It might have poison. Yes. No, I'm not going out on dates. Yes, the coconut pineapple rice. Yes. Thank you. Yes, the pyramid club. There's my link tree, all links, Chrissy there. Anything I have going on right now is up there. Um, yes. Yes, Elijah. He says, hello. He sends me voice notes. That's funny. Because, you know, most of them don't. They just, they just send... Um, hold on, I got to plug my phone in. They send... Hold on. Sorry. Oh. They send, hold on, all right, yes, butter and lotus, no, I loved, when I tell you lotus was my spot, can I tell you how lotus was the shit? Lotus in the meatpacking district was everything. Like, I used to go out every night. Every night. And every night, mad celebrities in the club, like. Just be lit. So lit. Now? It's like it's like a ghost town here. You'll be here in thirteen the March thirteenth. It's like a ghost town now. It sucks. Like like I, and it's not that I'm older. It's just super whack. Like there's really no good clubs. There's no good Tommy McDonough. There's no good clubs left. I promise you, me and Jatan would be there. I promise you. Shit is whack. Mm. 
Yes, Nancy. Ugh, the name Nancy. That's the girl that fucked my ex. Remember I was telling you guys the story? Little trash. My ex coworker, slut. There's some hot spots left at L.A. Yeah, but everything closes at 2. I don't like L.A. I was just talking about that yesterday. Only the hood underground shit. And I don't even mind going to the hood underground shit. But let me tell you something. There be motherfuckers looking like they 15 in that bitch. We went to that, can that cantina in Harlem the other night. The skinny cantina. I swear to God. It looked like some 14-year-olds trying to get in in the line. I swear to God, I said, oh, this can't be serious. I swear to God. I felt like the only grandmother in that bitch. It was like mad 22-year-olds. I'm like, and they were all trying to, damn, damn, oh my God. Like, trying to kick it. Like, hello, little boy. My cougar ass will fucking eat you up. I will take all your scamming dollars, Okay. I'll take all your drip. I'll take all your drip, little boy. Drip, 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 drip. Now, you know what? If I like somebody, it's not even about money. But I really don't like anybody. <laughs> so. <laughs> it is about money. I got to be benefiting somehow. If you can't make me happy sexually, if you can't make me happy conversation-wise or something... You better take me shopping or pay some bills, something to 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 uh, compensate. Especially if the dick is trash, that's the worst. Ugh, that's such a disappointment. Like if you really like somebody, and the you know who makes you laugh and the personality is great, but then the dick is trash. It's like we could be friends, but that's it. But that's disappointing. You said you can be my slave. What are you, one of those dominatrix foot people? Good. Go to my cash app right now and send $1,000. Right now. I'll boss you around and treat you like trash. <laughs> yeah, I'm just to the point where I cannot be bothered. It's just been so disappointing. All I do for you, babe. Yeah, listen, if the if it's trashy dick, you got to pay, you got to pay or do something else to put a smile on my face cuz that ain't it. All right, like the guy a couple years ago, we hooked up. We were cool. He was cool. He owned a studio. We were friends. Okay, number 1, I got hatfished. All right, the night we finally hooked up, which we didn't hook up because it was like my thumb. When I, he pulled it out, it was so small. So, number one. He, he, um, I like fat guys. I like some meat on the bones. Guys that are too skinny, it's like, there's nothing to cuddle with. I like some stomach to lay on. Like, pretend this is a stomach and I'm rubbing your stomach like this. Look. I like a nice chunky, chunky bay. So, yeah. So, anyway. Um, okay, so I got two stories of why I can't even. Men are the new bitches. So, anyway. Okay, first this one. This guy was cool. You could tell he's a little drug dealer. But he had a studio. This was a couple years ago. Maybe like four or five years ago. And he was a friend of a friend. He's younger. He's like 30-something. Whatever. I'm not trying to marry him. Anyway, he was cute. He was like Dominican and black. Like, he was cute. He was swaggy, just came home type shit. You know what I'm saying? Thick, stocky build, cute face. So, um, we were kicking it. He was taking me out to nice restaurants. You know what I'm saying? So, like, finally, like, I went over there. It was like me and him alone, chilling. He had a beautiful loft apartment. Um... So, you know, we're drinking some champagne, you know, chilling, the mood is right, we're on the couch, you know, watching TV or something. Anyway, whatever. Number one, he takes off his hat. 
Literally, his head is like a triangle on the top. He had a funny shaped head. I swear to God, he had like a pointy, like the aliens heads from um Saturday Night Live, remember? Back in the day. His head was literally pointy at the top. Like a little mountain. I swear to God, I can't, his head looked like a Hershey's Kiss. I can't even make this shit up. Like you should have left the fucking hat on. Dude, you just killed the whole fantasy. Now I can't see nothing but that big ass triangle head of yours. Like you should have left the hat on. Because you know he had on to fit it. And you know it was just the face. He looked cute. He could dress. Tattoos, you know what I'm saying? Yes, the cone head. He had a cone head. <laughs> he had a cone head. We were kissing already, though. I'm mad that he even got the tongue. We already Frenched. He took off the hat and had the cone head. So then, this is how immature and whack his sex game was. He stood up and literally... Just started pulling down his pants. Like no nothing. No foreplay. Just a little French kissing. No foreplay. And then he reaches in his jeans pocket while he's pulling his pants down. And pulls out a magnum. And it was this. I'm t- Not even that. It was a thumb. It was so small. I'm like. You really think, who are you lying to? Me or yourself? You really think you need a magnum? Dude, that's going to be the baggiest magnum of life. That shit going to fall right off. You with the baggy magnum and the cone head. That was just a double negative for me. I was like, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not doing any of that. (laughs) Now, listen, if he would have took that hat off and didn't have the cone head. And if he would have pulled out his D and it was huge, oh, okay. Now we could have probably, even though there was no foreplay, I may have gotten moist. These guys don't even know how to do foreplay anymore. They don't even know where the clit is. Okay? It was so fucking small. I literally couldn't believe my eyes. Like, I'm not even being mean. I said no, like... His finger would have probably felt better. And I'm not even being mean. This is so true. Why are you carrying magnums, liar? To make yourself feel better? That shit would have came off in my cooch. You would have lost it in the sea. Like that shit would have, would have fell right off. That's like me wearing like men's size 3X work gloves. My little feminine hand. It's just going to fall right off. Slip right off. (sighs) Delusional. That was the last time I ever saw him. Yeah, like they don't lick it. They don't want to kiss the titties. They don't want to suck the nips. They don't want to do nothing. My shit look like a baby arm. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, now. Hello. That's what I'm talking about. Mmm. Like that. This was like. and But here's my problem. Here, Here's the whole point of the, the whole conversation. We, me and him were cool. We went out on a couple nice dinners and shit. He lived locally. Disappointing. I can't do nothing with that cone head. And I can't do nothing with that two inch dick. I just can't. And your money really isn't long enough. Your your money is not that long. Like, yeah, you got a little street money. But it ain't like that. Nah, I'm good. No, I'm not wasting a coochie stamp. Like on the passport. On that little peen. It's a micro peen. <laughs> it's a micro peen. <laughs> oh, just the thought of it. But the cone head, I don't know what's worse. Looking at the cone head or the little dick. It was bad. It was super small. And I've seen a lot of dicks in my lifetime. Trust me when I tell you. Oh, God. But here's the whole thing, how he just stood up and pulled it out. Like, 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 what are you going to do? Just put it in? Like, that's what you're doing? Like, 
just sticking it in like a little teenage hot, hot in the pants youngster. Nah, like I can't. And I'm sorry that God cursed you with that little thing. It's not your fault. You're a nice guy, but you're not for me. Like, how do you even have kids with that? Like, what do you do with a dick that small? I can't. I can't. It's bad. It's bad. No, they really don't. I'm going to start giving out lessons. Paid. Because some of y'all guys really need to know what to do. You only doing a goddamn thing right. Seriously. This guy I used to talk to is like, oh, your pussy's dry. Yeah, because you ain't do nothing to make it moist. Just stick it in. Ooh. Just stick it in. Oh, just looking at you made me moist. Yeah, right. I need more than that. Please. I need all the touching and the rubbing and the licking. Ah, to get it moisty. Moisty moist. Wetty wet. They just want to stick it in like they in high school. Like they in a rush. Like they're going to get caught. But I'm not wrong. They just want to, it's like, and then, you know. Yeah, it's just, mm mm-mm. Yeah, like, how am I supposed to just get wet? Just, okay, here, pull your pants down, stick it in. That's real, really romantic. Yeah, you got to get my mind into it. You got to make me mentally stimulate it. You know what I'm saying? Like, women, we like that romantic shit. That's why we read romance novels. And we get mentally stimulated. And that makes us moist. Okay? Yeah, it's like you're there in high school. We need that foreplay and that romance and the the talking and the, damn, baby, you're so sexy. Damn. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, we need the mental stimulation. But a lot of... I love the dirty talk, too. I like the dirty talk. I like the... All that. And they don't do none of it. It ain't like we've been in a five-year relationship and we're just doing a quickie. You're supposed to be impressing me. Guess what? I'm not impressed. At all. No, I don't have cats. Cats are boring. My dogs run my life. Mm, I love you. Yeah, I like all that. The filthy talk. Slam for real. What did you walk into? I'm talking about the guy who had the cone head and the micro penis. So I denied him. But you know what? I, that's my fault. I should have made him take off the hat before it even got that far. And he had a magnum in his pocket. He had the nerve to have a magnum. Ugh. Okay, what was the other story I was about to tell? I don't know. There was another story I was going to say. I forget. I don't know. Um, Don't ask me those questions on here. You're going to get me kicked off. Of course I like that. Yeah, the Magnum would have fit his head better than that little peen. That was a micro peen. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I'm just so not turned on anymore. And it's like, you know, if you find a guy that has a nice one, you try to at least make the best of it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at twin on here. I can't. I'm going to call your baby mother. <laughs> um, you try to make the best of it. And then it's just like, I don't got time to train this guy. Like, yeah, he has a nice dick, but he don't know what to do with it. Like, what's worse? 
having a nice dick and you dumb as shit and don't know how to use it. So like, come on. I can't. I know you got a nice one. Whatever. Stop trying to come on here and act like something. Please. Anyway. <laughs> I can't. Twin trying to get me in trouble. It's like, I ain't got nobody to get in trouble with. You said that dumb dick slaps, though. Yeah, sometimes I like a hot, dumb guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like that just dumb, sex, useless bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I know, you're just kidding. I'm going to call your baby mother. Yeah, how about the one they have a beautiful one in the last two minutes? Oh, I've had that happen in 30 seconds. <sighs> I can't. Then I was engaged to a Dominican guy, and he was fine as shit. We were going to get married. Uh, he did the best oral of my life. Like, he, it was like an art for him. Like, he took pride in that shit. Like, that was his enjoyment. Like, hello. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. That's why I was said, okay, I'll marry you. And he had the body of life and the D of life. He was, but it was just constant all day, five times a day. Like, come on, you're killing me. Like, which I don't mind. But it got to be like just too much. Like, then he would put on like the bachata and the merengue and blast it. I'm like, oh my God. And I'm in Washington Heights. And then I seen a roach and the bed is rocking. And it's like, I can't. It's like, this is just too fucking much for me. This is just too hood. I can't. Hi, <laughs> Raymond. It was the whole, um, it was the whole thing. What's the biggest guy I've been with? He was six foot eight and he had the biggest, you know what? It felt like it was ripping open. I felt like I could hear it tearing open. That was not even enjoyable. Like It was like this. Bigger than this. Trust me. He was, he was in the NBA. Six foot eight. So imagine. The D. Not that that means anything. But usually tall skinny guys have a good one. Yes. Like I went on the, okay. Hi, Russian queen. So I went on a little excursion to the Puerto Rico once a couple years ago. This fine, fine. We met on Instagram, flew, flew me out. 20, I think it was 28, 26. Fine. We had sex 11 times from Friday to Sunday night. Or Monday morning when I left for the airport. It was just a smut trash weekend. You know what I'm saying? But it was fun. Fun. That's what I'm talking about. That's what life's about. Having a good time. You know what I'm saying? He was fine. No, fine. Would I say fine? But young. Then he started asking me for threesomes. And that's when I cut him off. I was like, listen... I'm good. Because then we were staying in touch. When I got back, he's like, next time you come over here, you should bring one of your girlfriends with you. I was like, excuse me? He's like, yeah, I like threesome. I said, boy, stop it with that childish shit. That shit's immature. That is such a turn off. You asked me for another bitch? You're, it's over for us. I don't like that. Listen, a man's going to do what he, he wants. Okay? A man's going to do... Oh, look, Raymond, look, Raymond knows him. Raymond knows him. Look, Raymond Clemente knows him. Come on my live, yo. Come on my live. Hold on. It's my friend in real life. Friend in real life. <laughs> and he caught me because he seen me posting on Instagram. Yeah. Yo, you you, you caught me. Remember that shit? You were like, yo, you in Puerto Rico? Go ahead, and you're with such and such? Because I seen his car over at the hotel across the street from my crib. Y'all at the beach? I was like, yep, yeah, you fucking detective. He's out here. <laughs> I girl's coming for real. 
Huh? Yeah, I, I did. Said you was out here on Hot Girl Time. I was. I dipped out. Nobody even knew. I was like, Puerto Rico. Shh, shh. <laughs> what are you up to? I'm walking my dog. Oh, look. Look, Marge Tiffany. Look. Marge, what up? Hey, look, Marge. It's good, though, with you, Michelle and I was telling that story, though, because we're talking about little escapades. Absolutely. But that's so funny because, yo, everybody on live, he caught me over in Puerto Rico and knew exactly who I was with because he knows the guy. They used to play on the I was safety. literally in the building across the street. I, know I sent you the video. Like, yo, you right here right now? <laughs> and I can't go nowhere. I, I can't go nowhere. I was busted. Uh, so good, though. Everything else good, though? Yeah, everything's good. What you been doing? You over there in Puerto Rico? Yeah, I'm in Puerto Rico now. We are um, practicing and stuff. We got to leave for like Nicaragua this Thursday for a couple of days and come back in Canada. So we moving and grooving right now. Yes. Well, we'll talk later. We'll catch up. All right. I'm a right, That was funny. How the hell do I get out of here? I got you. See, I don't be lying. I don't be lying. No, he's fine, but this guy was fine too. Like, just... Trust me on this. Ramon is very cute. But my guy was cute just like that. They used to play on the same team. So you know I ain't lying. I never lie. He just co-signed that shit. Because he literally caught me in Puerto Rico. Because he saw me. You know, we've, been, we've known each other forever. Me and Ramon. From New York. Like, I've known Ramon forever. Just the homie. So... We've been following each other on Instagram. I forgot he lived in Puerto Rico and played ball in Puerto Rico. So when I was over there, me and my boo came to San Juan to go clubbing. And we stayed in a hotel for the night because that's where all the clubs are, right? And literally the hotel that my friend took me to was right across from Ramon's apartment building in San Juan. And he hit me like, yo, you right across the street from me. And you're with such and such because he knew such and such's car. Caught. I was caught, but I didn't care. I was living the, I was living the beach romance, Puerto Rican poppy fantasy. Yes. It was great. It was great. It was a, definitely a weekend to remember. But then when dude started talking about threesomes, I was over him. I was so turned off. That's such a turn off. Like, why do you want, you got me. Why would you want somebody else? Or am I wrong? I don't like to share. I don't like to share. Sorry. Mm-mm. It's not like you're my man and like of years and we want to add some spice. You know what I'm saying? You just, we just met, like we've been talking on Instagram for a while before I went over there, but a threesome, like you, it's that excited of, cause of me. And now you want my friend too. How disgusting. Thank you. You like my show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. No, I'm not into that at all. So I'm like, if you want another bitch, go get her. Don't call me. Oh, man, why are you acting like that? It's just fun. Fun for who? Because I'm jealous. I'll be like this on the bitch. Uh. There'll be a whole cat fight up in there. I will ruin the mood. Trust me when I tell you. Yes. Let me tell you something. If you want another bitch so bad, go out and get her. Don't let me stop you. Go find her. And I'm supposed to bring one of my friends. Like, yeah, that's real, real comfortable situation. All of a sudden now, I'm, I'm me and I, my best friend are gay together. Fuck out of here. I, oh, my friend of 20 years. Now we're supposed to be just licking each other for you. You don't have, your money's not long enough. Look, Ramon, 
ain't nothing wrong with a little threesome here and there. Listen, that's your opinion. But I know, I know Ramon really is a good boyfriend. He's had some nice relationships. So, you know, listen. Whatever floats your boat, don't sink mine. Because I'm not doing it. Look, all these chicks is on Ramon. Yes, they all want you. And the small dog is the real lady killer. Because that shows his sensitive side with the little small animal. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing a season two of Finding Chrissy on Tubi. You're a one-woman type. Exactly. You're better off. One is enough to annoy you. That's what I say with men. Like, come on. Hey, Sacramento, California. What's up? Um, yeah, man. Yeah. Like, that's so, like, degrading. Like, oh... You're not enough for me. I need you and your friend. Or I need you to bring back another bitch. What? Don't, that's abusive. Don't make me feel like I'm not enough for you. I'm more than enough. Yes. So, yeah. That's like, that was the end of that. That was my, the end of my Puerto Rican weekend romance. It was never happening again. And I was so liking him when I left. Like, I was looking forward to going back. When he did that, killed it. Killed it. And, you know, it is what it is. You got to expect guys in their 20s and shit. That's that immature shit. They want the threesomes. They want the threesomes. Like, listen, I've done threesomes. Okay. I did it with one of my exes once and he got mad because the girl and I, he busted in like a minute. He was so turned on and excited. Yeah. It's just whatever. And then me and the girl, we were tipsy. Me and the girl ended up doing stuff and having sex and all that. So he got mad because he felt left out. Well, okay, two minute friend. You know what I'm saying? But then I was, then he was calling me all kind of dykes and lesbians afterwards. So I was damned if I do and damned if I don't. I went to the strip club, got a girl, brought her home because he would not stop stressing me out about having a threesome. So then he got mad because he busted fast and me and the girl still messed around for like the next 30 minutes in bed. I'm sorry you couldn't get it back up to join, jump back in. Then the girl went home. I sent her in a cab home. Then it was ugh, all the insults. Why do I have to be the bad guy? Yeah, you can't even handle one. How you want to handle two? You want to disappoint two bitches tonight? You want to disappoint two bitches tonight, not one. I can't. It's the truth. What about two women that want the threesome? It's... Yeah. I mean, listen. That's whatever. Listen. I don't care what anybody does. As long as they're not hurting someone... Who cares? Do whatever you want. It's their business. But don't try to force me into shit. Don't ever try to force a threesome on me. I feel some kind of way. I feel some kind of way. And it's not a good way. Usually the women want the threesome. <sighs> not me. Especially, ugh. Some women's hygiene ain't up to par. You get a whiff of that whew, fishy bacalao sometimes. They got a bacterial vaginosis. I can't. And you know what I'm talking about. Because I've had BV before from Dirty Dick. Okay. You got to get on the flagel. You can't drink on it for like a week. Am I lying? 
That shit smells like straight bacalao. Like I can't even like go outside because you don't even want like you don't even want nobody to, sm to get close to smell the fish. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that shit. But am I wrong? That smell, you it just creeps up on you. It's like, and you know what it is. So you got to go to the gynecologist, you got to go to the doctor, or go to the urgent care. It's like, just prescribe me the flagell. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just call it in. <laughs> just call it in. <laughs> yes. And, and, but here's the point, ladies. Listen, shit happens. Let's be real. Shit happens. It's fine. Get that shit taken care of immediately. Don't walk around with it like it ain't funky. Don't just, don't ignore it. People smell it. If you can smell it, so can everybody else. Trust and believe that. Just throw the whole vagina away. Yes. Yeah, man. You know what it is too, and it's it's the dirty dick, and it's not, it may not even be from them having sex. It's sometimes they don't wash properly, and they work out, and they got all kind of dick bacteria up in the fold of the the ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, or whatever. Nah, I'm good. You said when I get off the phone, I need you to send me your single friends profiles. Oh please, am I? What am I? Match dot com. right and i've been around girlfriends of mine not lately but i've known women in my life that have had it and i have to tell them you got to say something like baby you need to go get that checked and you need to wipe front to back not back to front if that's what it is i know you must know that every who knows you know what i'm saying you got to wipe front to back Exactly, Anivia. You could you could feel it, and then the smell is just undeniable. I'm sorry, and I won't have sex with you. You know, you know you got it, and then a dude's trying to hook up. I'll be like, no, I'm sorry, I'm so busy. I'm sorry, because I don't want you to smell it. That's the worst. He said straight garbage truck juice. That's just so true. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Anivia. I was in the hospital a year and a half ago. That wasn't recently. I saw your comment. Thank you for caring. That was a year and a half ago. You said throw that shit out. Listen, it can happen to anyone. It just ha it happens. But then it's like, my pussy's out of commission for the week. So don't come around me. Go wash yourself with some, like, I don't know what. Go, you need to go get something too, homie. Or, or wash your shit with some fucking Lysol or put some alcohol on there. Kill all the germs. I don't know. How do guys get rid of, like, that bacteria? You said the shit smell like a sanitation trunk in Yonkers. It's true. But let's, let's be real, guys. Are you still going to, if it stinks like that? You know you still want to do it. You're just going to hold your nose. Have you? Have you ever hit it when it smells like that? Exactly, Ramon. Ramon said these dudes don't care. Guys are asymptomatic. Oh, you know what? You're right. Put some Febreze on it. <laughs> I can't. Yes. Yes. Thank you. The one and only Erica. You're guilty. You've hit it. Okay. Put up um, an emoji if you've hit it when a woman has the fishy uh, bacterial vaginosis and you still hit it. You still smashed and it smelled like that. Okay. You admit it. Count. Count WJ. Slam for real. Stop lying. Yeah. Let me soul. Let me soul. Dude, you need to start washing your dick with the let me soul. Seriously. Then spray a little Lysol. <laughs> What's the best part of Florida to visit Miami? 
this one girl ran into me the first room. That's how bad it was. Into the apple cider vinegar. Most guys really don't care, sadly. Oh, it's so true. It's so bad. Dirty dick. I'm mad. It's true. Are you mad? Imagine getting the, the bacterial vaginosis. Who's really mad? And then you got to be on the flagel for a week with no alcohol. You can't drink. You will throw up immediately. I tried sipping a Corona once. I immediately puked. You cannot drink any, any liquor on um, flagel. The apple cider vinegar. Oh my God. Some fabuloso. But that will, you know what? That'll really mess up your pH balance and then give you a yeast infection. You ever have the bacterial vaginosis with the yeast infection? Double whammy. You know you've had the double. That's the, that's the double whammy. Lord have mercy, child. Yes. Oh. But you can't be mad if you gave it to the chick. That's the, that's the crazy shit. Dudes be knowing they gave it to you. Then they want to talk shit. Like your pussy stinks. Well, you made it stink. Scumbag. Now eat it. <laughs> punishment you did this to me now you're gonna pay talk all the shit you want oh god can you imagine i would never i would never even let them but i'm just saying how disgusting but they want to give it to you and then act like it's your fault well where else did i get it from who else where where else did i get it from no, but here's the worst. When you get it from one and you might hook up with another one, but you can't because you have it because he'll find out that you cheat because you know he didn't give it to you. So you can't go around the other one. You got to act like you got your period. Like, oh, I'm sorry, babe. I'm home with the heating pad. I got cramps. I can't see you right now. And they'd be like, your mouth don't got your mouth don't got it. I'd be like, oh shut up, you scumbag. Don't talk to me, you trash. Uh, but you know you really got the bacterial vaginosis and your shit stinks. So you just can't have him nowhere near you. Because the other dude gave it to you. Oh, so scandalous. Such a scandal. So scandalous. That's how shit be going around though. Am I lying? <laughs> My God, who raised me? Who raised me? I can't. <laughs> who raised me? All I could do was laugh, man. I've lived a, such a great life. I have no complaints. I have no complaints, man. I've had so much fun. That all I can do now is just laugh and have fun. Like, I have so many good experiences. And I still am ready to have more. I just can't find anybody I even like. It's a problem. Selfish and scandalous, exactly. Listen, men do it all the time. And I don't want to be a man, and I'm not competing with men. But don't have the double standard. They all say they want a good girl. What is a good girl? What is a good girl? What is a good woman? I want to know what is a good woman. Because I, I think I surpass what a good woman is. But that doesn't seem to be enough for these insecure dudes. Please don't be on here asking me loving hip hop questions. That's so six years ago. Six years ago. My life has changed and moved on since loving hip hop. But thank you guys. I know that's where a lot of y'all know me from. I've totally matured since then. So listen. 
where's all the cute guys? Like, where's all the good dudes? Like, where's the ones? And I can't even say what a good dude is. Because I don't even know what classifies a good dude. Kenny's a good dude, but I ain't. I don't want that. If you want to talk about a good guy. I don't want that shit. That's what, like, a good guy is. No, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Because I know he probably wouldn't cheat on his girlfriend and all that. But ain't my type at all. I know. There's nothing out here. And I don't want nobody else's man. I don't want nobody else's husband. I don't want nobody else's boyfriend. I don't want no drama. That's why I say I'm good being by myself. I am good being by myself. Getting my shit together. I started back at yoga today. Tomorrow I'm going to kickboxing. Um, no, because I got rid of my cable. Now I'm only doing streaming, Erica. Thank you for um, reminding me, though, because maybe are they, maybe they have the repeats on A&E on the app. Thank you for reminding me. Unbelievable. I am a good woman. That's why I'm particular. Like, I mean, I've slummed. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I've slummed and just hooked up here and there. You know what I'm saying? We all do. But we are going to do the new season soon. Just having fun. But you know what the problem is, too? A lot of these younger dudes are so disrespectful. Then I want to be just like... I can't be bothered because they're immature. So, yes, I am the prize. Thank you, Lawrence. You think the A&E app has it? Yo, I'm loving Hulu. I can't even lie. Hulu got a whole bunch of good stuff on there. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah, these young guys have no chill. Like, they really, they really, like, think they all that for real. It's like little boys. I can't. You're out there grinding for me. I know. I've been watching Pam and Tommy. I'm waiting for the next episode. Chrissy is one of a kind. Yes, I am. One in a million. I am. What was that Neo song? Yes. One in a million. You are. Yeah, the Pam and Tommy is everything, but it's not over yet. And the Kanye. I'm living for the Kanye. What a great, great documentary. Because literally, I was around at the time, like, when Jesus Walks came out and, and, and College Dropout, whatever. So, you know, it's like, wow. I was around this time in New York. It was pretty cool. And to see his evolution, it's amazing from then till now and it's so great that they really documented it and got all those moments amazing no I'm living oh yeah the married men be acting straight single out here oh you ever been on a cruise okay I've only went on a cruise once. It was so ghetto. My girlfriend, literally, the crew, whole cruise cost $285 for four days and three nights. My friend's sister was getting married in the Bahamas, so me and my friend went with her. Who the fuck ain't got $285? And then plus our JetBlue ticket to Miami, which was like nothing it was like a hundred dollars round trip so this was like a four hundred dollar trip all inclusive on carnival with the food 
ghetto as fuck. You talk about rolled up dirty pampers in the hallway, people sitting them outside of their little cabin doors, stinking up the hallway on the boat. It was just raunch, raunchy. Then you walk through the casino, it smells like fucking Newports. Everybody's in there smoking cigarettes. It was disgusting. <laughs> but my point is, you see all these married men on the cruise at the buffets during the day with the wife and kids or at the pool with the, the, the wife and kids. Then you go to the nightclub at night with your single friends. You see all the dads out in the nightclub alone acting single. Why? Because the cruise ship daycare, I think, closed at eight or nine. So who's going to watch the kids? The wife. So the wife's back in the cabin and dad's out unbuttoning his shirt a little bit, showing his chain and his little chest hairs try to talk to you on the cruise and buy you free drinks. <laughs> <laughs> the drinks are free. So they would act like they ball in on the cruise ship like they're the man. Can I get you a drink? I never had so many motherfuckers offer me drinks in my life because they're free. It's all inclusive. <laughs> baller head honcho on this 285 boat trip so one guy I told him I said hey I said we you at the hamburger buffet today like you know they got the little hamburger grill with your wife I saw you with your wife and kids oh yeah no, they really think. This is how scumbag these guys are. How scumbag? You're with your whole family on a carnival cruise. I saw you. Saw you. And your whole family. And now you want to act single in the cruise nightclub. Offering me free drinks that I can get for free myself because I already paid too. The whole 285 for the weekend. I'm not impressed. You need to get me a premium beverage. Top shelf. Add something on that tab. It's like, no, but I'm just like, you're not, you're not low, dude. <laughs> All you motherfuckers in the nightclub are with your wives during the day, walking around the deck. And then you see them the next day and they got the face down like they don't know you. I should be like, hey, Martha. Your husband, Bill, tried to buy me a free drink last night in the carnival disco. I thought you should know. But I'm not going to break up their little delusional happy home. Go back to Milwaukee and have a nice day. Have a nice day because it's daytime. Got the little kids in the back with the swimmies on the arms <laughs> running around behind them. <laughs> horrible shameful what they think you know it's like those movies with chevy chase like the vacation the vacation where he has like christy brinkley and he has like the the daydream that he's gonna run off in the ferrari and she's in the pool at the cheap motel and his wife's sleeping in in the the night nighty and the kids are in the next room it's like that on the carnival cruise it's like that just like that on the carnival cruise they're all the Chevy Chase guys. They want to slide off, have their midlife crisis, you know, fantasy. I swear, it was just like me and my two friends were like the only single women on this whole cruise. I swear. It was like, we just had like a target on our head, like single, single bitch, single bitch. <laughs> so funny. And you know how they play the corny music? They play like rap hits on the carnival cruise is like top 40 rap so they're all in there dancing with no rhythm and shit like dad you know like take me back to the 80s <laughs> I can't make this shit up I can't make this shit up
they're in there dancing to like, you can find me in the club, party full of bub, bottle full of bub. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Oh, mama said, knock you out. Mama said, knock you out. <laughs> With their free drinks. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Or what they play. Uh, they play, what else? Other songs they play. The Humpty Dance through the hump. Oh, to me, baby. Do the Humpty Hump. And it takes two to make a thing go right. Rob Bass and DJ Easy Rock. They playing like all the 80s hits. 80s and 90s. Yeah. Trying to kick it to you. And they're Dockers. Khakis. They're put down shirt. <laughs> it's horrible. But it's what it is. It's what it is on the cruise ship. It's what it is on the cruise ship. I will never go to another cruise. I couldn't wait to touch land back in fucking Miami. I swear to God, I was never so happy to get off a fucking boat in my life. That shit was so ghetto. Dirty. Dirty diapers all over the fucking hallways rolled up stench. No. Then, of course, we did the whole sneaking in our liquor for the cabin shit. You put it in this empty Listerine bottle. Like, they don't know all the tricks when you're boarding the boat. So you have liquor in your room. Because ain't nobody trying to... You can bring back a cup, but that shit's so watered down. By the time you come back with a plastic cup that's all scratched up, and you go back to your room, which is like a mile away. It's watered. That ice is all melted. So you got like a red, sweet, fruity drink that's dark at the bottom. And now the rest of the cup is clear from the water fucking ice melting in the shit. It tastes like shit. So you're trying to swirl it around with the straw. And you're like... <sighs> nasty. So, you know, you want to have your own bottle of honey and your own wine and shit in the room. Like, you know what I'm saying? But whatever. I'm not going on another cruise as long as I live. Ever. And then people are like, oh, that's just carnival. That's the worst of the worst, girl. They have cruise ships that are amazing. That are like, oh, my God. It's like a whole city on water. And, oh, my God. You've never really been on a real cruise until you go on one of these. I'll take your word for it. No, thanks. I just don't want to be, you know what it is? I can't be confined. I'm claustrophobic. I can't be stuck. Like, I want to get in my car and fucking go when I want to go. When you're on that boat, oh, and then, oh, then it stormed the last day. I mean, stormed at sea. So there's nothing to do but walk around this fucking boat <clears throat> with these overpriced gift shops of junk. Junk in the gift shops. I was good. I think I slept the last day just to get it over with. I couldn't wait to touch land. It's horrible. <clears throat> horrible. Fuck Carnival Cruise Lines. And I said it. You can tag them. I'll tag them. It sucked. And the food all starts tasting the same. Oh, and don't you even go there. You know they charge extra for a lobster. The lobsters are not included. <coughs> no, I laugh all day. Imagine if I smoke weed again. I don't even smoke weed anymore. When I used to smoke weed, I used to have everybody on the floor pee in their pants. I'm just naturally funny. But you know what it is? I just, I see things in a different way that a lot of people see them. And I just have fun. Like every day. Thank you, Nicole. I have fun. I don't take a lot of shit serious. So everything is fun for me. Like, I make the most fun of it. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> so, yeah, like, I just, like, listen, you got to have fun. People take shit too fucking serious and be all uptight. Not me. I have fun. Sometimes people get mad at me for laughing so much and having so much fun. They get mad at me. Imagine, 
getting mad at me because I'm having fun and I'm laughing. You talk about miserable people. Yes, exactly. The day at sea. Oh, yeah, the, the, the day at sea when you got to dine with the captain and wear a gown. Everybody's in, like, the Macy's gown. Or, like, the David's bridal bridesmaid, mother of the bride gown. <laughs> I can't. It's horrible. God, forgive me. But am I wrong? No. You can't. Can't make this shit up. Everybody got the Coles gown on. <laughs> the Coles dress. <laughs> the Coles sequin gown. The Coles sequin wrap dress. Yes. Mm hmm. Listen, I love it. I love to see people happy. I love to see people having a good time. I compliment people everywhere I go. I try to make people feel good, man. That's why I don't understand how miserable people are. Like, how can you be miserable? You know what I'm saying? Nah, you should compliment people. What is it to you to make somebody feel good about themselves or pay them a nice compliment? You know, you really could be making somebody's day, making somebody's whole week. I love to make somebody smile or, or say thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, thank you. Like, girl, I love your hair. I love that Coles dress. Yes, girl. Shine on. Serve looks. Miss sequence, you know, but people actually get mad at me. But sometimes I, I ain't gonna lie, I am a hard person to be friends with because sometimes I take shit too far, be laughing. Like I could go in sometimes for hours and just be dying and laughing, and like sometimes people can't take it. Like they try to come at me and say some funny shit, and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, girl, but you know what? <laughs> and I start going in on them, and they can't take it. But they started. They started with a sarcastic little insult, not knowing the venom that's inside, that's laying in my chest. Ready to come out like a dragon. Snatch you, bitch. They can't take it. Like, listen, like, in middle school, no no lie, like, I would be, like, going back and forth. Like, you know how they do on Wild and Out? I would be in school, like, doing that with, like, dudes, like, at lunch. We'd be cracking on each other, just back and forth, back and forth. So, you know, it's ingrained in me since childhood, since middle school. And I didn't even mean to, like, I don't want to insult you, but they feel like they got to insult me or make a side little remark. Like a funny little jab at Chrissy. And I'll be like, <laughs> why do you think that's funny? What are you supposed to mean by that? Really? Oh, that's nice. Call me fat? Oh, nice. Well, your mother what? <laughs> your mom what? Your father what? <laughs> that's so stupid. No, but anyway. <clears throat> you know, it's all fun. It's not easy being my friend. It's fun, though. I go on. I have fun all day. People need to like lighten up. I know the world sucks right now. But what can we do? Not a motherfucking thing. And right now I'm online shopping while I'm talking to y'all. My life ain't my life doesn't suck. I'm about to buy me some fucking earrings. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> um <clears throat> yeah. So time is it i gotta take my blood thinner hi nikki nikki two two seven two zero two one yes let me find out your birthday is february 27th is it yeah oh you know what i can't stand the electric slide it cringes me any wedding or anything? Oh my God, I can't do the electric slide and I don't want to. Oh, I start just, I just exit. I go to the bathroom. I can't do it because then somebody's always drunk and tries to pull you into the, I'm like, no. Or the cha-cha slide. No. I can't do it. I can't do the electric slide or the cha-cha slide. 
Because it reminds me of the cruise ship. The cruise ship, they do shit like that too. You know that, right? They do that shit. I can't. That's right. I'm blessed. Oh, thank you, Nyla Hollywood. I help you out. Um, yeah. Oh, I can't stand the Cupid shuffle, Lawrence. Oh, my God. I can't. Oh, God. I can't. No, I can't do. I don't do any of those. And I can't. I can't. I won't. There's no fucking way. No way. Because I'll be up there all awkward like, it's electric. And I'm like, and I really don't know how to do the shit, to be honest. It's something I never really wanted to do in life. No, but there'd be people like waiting all night for that shit. It's like, you know, they came there just to show off their skills. Like, you know it. <laughs> Am I wrong? You know, they're living for that moment. They got it down pat, like, <clears throat> they know it. And it's cute. Like, I like to see, like, the older ladies having fun, like the grandmas and stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's fun for them. <clears throat> but I'll be, like, clapping on the sideline. I'm like, I'm not getting in that shit. Slide away, bitch. Slide away. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, the line, country line dancing. Remember that was, um, remember when that was a thing? Yes. Yes. You said at my own wedding, I didn't even do it, Lawrence. That's funny. Yeah, it's true. I'm the same way. That's why I don't like to go on cruises. It's corny. It's like just corny. It's like touristy. And then you got mad people from all over like middle America, which is fine. It's fine. But they mad at me, boy, when they see these tits and the blonde hair. The wives don't like me on the cruise. Woohoo. They be looking at their man like, I dare you to look at those tits. Bobby, you won't make it back to Arkansas. Let me catch you looking again at that big titty blonde over there. Looking like she from the Bon Jovi video. <laughs> And I'm the big titty bond. How about that? Oh my God, I can't. Yeah, the wives on the cruise did not like me. At all. They wanted to jump me. It's a bunch of Karens. No, I haven't been on that much. I've been like busy. It's like a Karen. It's a Karen fest on those cruises. They're all Karens. They're Karen. It's a Karen fucking Karen on the sea festival. Fucking Karen of the sea. That's what they should name the fucking boats. The Karen. <laughs> the Karen. I can't. It's a Karen fest. They all got the haircuts. The Karen cut. Yes, and they're all at the fucking buffet eating like 20 plates of food like they never fucking been nowhere, like piling that shit up, going back and forth. More shit, more food. Getting every penny's worth. And the shit is bland as fuck. The shit is bland. They got a lot of variety, but it all tastes the same. Yep. Yeah. You know what? I have old videos from that cruise. I got to post those. That's the first and last cruise I'll ever go on. Unless it's on a private yacht. With my sugar daddy. On his 300 footer foot yacht. With his own private staff. Yes. We haven't met yet. It's the law of attraction. Thank you, Justo Frost. Yeah, I've been used to it my whole life. It's nothing. I just ignore it. I'm not here to try to hurt nobody's feelings. I don't ever want to make somebody feel bad because their man's looking at me. He's a piece of shit if he's looking at me. I'm always on the woman's side. 
I'm always on the woman's side. Yes, please remind me to post the cruise videos. I got to put this on my YouTube channel. You know what? I need to start putting stuff on the YouTube channel. Dead ass. You know what it is? I'm just afraid they're going to censor me too much. Thank you, Sully, for life. Probably Simon Laviv, right? I'll run circles around his little ass. Where's my cart? Online shopping. I've met better scammers than the Tinder Swindler. They never scammed me, but I've known them in real life. And they are hardcore hustlers and scammers. Trust me when I tell you. With no conscience. No conscience. When I tell you no conscience. No conscience. Oh, man. God. I've been through some shit in my life. Such, such scammers that I wouldn't go out in public with them because I'll be afraid we get like somebody might catch us and kill us because they would get so much money from people in different ways. Not just women, but mega, mega scammers like that would move around the country. Like, and of course they gravitate towards me. I meet them in the club in New York or whatever, but ugh, dangerous, but exciting, very exciting. But you got to be careful who you're around sometimes because you don't know what they're into. So you got to be careful. I knew what he was into. That's why I was careful. We're like, let's go somewhere up out of the way <laughs> in Westchester. I don't want to go out in the city. I don't want nobody see me with you. I ain't catching a stray bullet. You never know who they ripped off or who knows who we is. You don't know. No, no, no. No, no, no. You keep asking me what kind of earrings I'm buying. Why are you paying for them? My cash app is right there in my link. At Chrissy Monroe is my cash app. Money sign Chrissy Monroe. How about that? buy me these diamond earrings I'm looking at right now. My two-factor authentication. Trust no one online. Hi, frequent flyer Miles. What's up? I'll see you soon. Where's my code? Yes, bestie. When are you coming up to film? Soon. Yes, the end of the world is coming. Trust and believe. These are the end of times. Sodom and Gomorrah out here. Dead ass. But I keep my page. Let me stick to the rules. I don't do race, religion, or politics on my page. So let me not go there. But I feel how I feel. You guys know I believe in God. Heavy. But these are the end of days. It's been prophesized in the Bible. Look at the world. It's a complete fucking disaster. God ain't happy with us, honey. And it ain't even God. It's us doing it to each other. So we're not going to talk about all that. Let's keep it light. Talk about the electric slide. And the married men buying drinks on the carnival cruise, listening to MC Hammer. Can't touch this. That's another one. Oh, they love that one on the cruise ship. It's the can't touch this. And ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. Oh, they go off on that one. They go off. All the way off with their free drinks in their system and their wives back at the room babysitting the little little ones. They feel single all over again. Listening to vanilla ice on the carnival cruise. 
Okay. Can my order go through? Yes. Hey, yes, I'm on Instagram Live. You can call, though. I'll get off. I'm just seeing this message. What's up, everybody? You know how many of my exes make fake pages and watch me on here, too? That's so creepy. Get over me, dude. I'm not coming back. Walk away. Move on. <laughs> Vanilla Ice on a carnival cruise. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? At the hamburger buffet. <laughs> I can't. Oh, shit. I gotta send this. Copy. Forward my assistant. See, I'm supposed to be working right now. Thank you, Shanti. Hey, Papa. Ow. Papa 5411, my friend in real life. Hold on. This is my um assistant. She's got to put some stuff on the website. Yeah, that stalking shit don't... I don't even take that lightly. That shit really is scary to me. I know Brooklyn does have all the spots right now. Okay, just had to send her that. Yes. We should just go on a cruise. Like, I should make like a just a fucking fuck around cruise trip, group trip where I sell tickets so we can all just go on there and bug out at the bullshit, like, and just have fun, like, because it's cheap, right? I should make, like, a Chrissy's, Chrissy's extravaganza cruise, right? That would be fun. No, I don't know. I don't, I'll never understand a stalker. Um, I can't understand being that fascinated with someone else's life. You got to be really bored, really lonely, really miserable. To, and I can't never idolize another person. Yeah, my free look drinks on me. Chrissy's drinks on me, Cruz. <laughs> um, I can't understand it. I'm just it's not in my my blood to like be obsessed with another person. Like I admire and, and I I really um appreciate some people's talents. Music wise, acting wise, like I love Robert De Niro, I love Al Pacino. Would I stalk them? Would I follow them? Would I like get fanatical? No. It's, it's called, you know, fan appreciation or whatever. You know, it's great. I like your movies, but there's people that really stalk people. Like, it's the difference between, like, you know, Okay, great. Oh, my God. You're so talented. Wonderful actor. Have a nice day. Then, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I love him. Let me watch his every move. Let me find out where he lives. Oh, my God. Do you think he'll ever talk to me? Do you think he would take a picture with me? Did you ever watch that movie with Robin Williams called The Fan? What's it called? The Fan? The guy in L.A. that became enamored with the actor and started following him around? It's like that. There's real people out here like that. You know that, right? They're really out here like that. Heavy. 
And social media has made it a thousand times worse for them to be intrusive. Make pages all day. Listen, people are like, just block them. Oh, you're such a genius, Sherlock. You're such a, God, you went to Harvard? I never thought about just blocking them. Because God. They could never make another email or make another page to stalk me from, right? God, I'm so glad you gave me that advice. Fuck out. Yo. I can't. People always want to give you advice on shit that, that, that they're not going through. Trust me when I tell you. You wouldn't want to live in my skin for a day. Most people want, want attention and they want to be, you know, influential, whatever. They couldn't handle 24 hours. They want to argue with fake pages. They want to argue when somebody says, you're a bitch. They want to go back and forth. That's the least of it. I don't even, that don't even, none of that bothers me. It's when they start threatening me and contacting people on that like my, my posts, sending them their phone numbers. Um, looking up all kind of crazy shit, just crazy. I don't even want to give anyone any ideas. It's scary. So people leaving comments. That's why I say you can call me all kind of cunts. Do whatever you want. I don't care. None of that bothers me. I swear. I laugh at it. Call me whatever you want. But when they start being invasive, intrusive, disrespectful, and trying to bully their way into your private life. And they get too overzealous and constantly messaging, messaging, messaging. That's a trigger. Where it's like, okay, this ain't right. This ain't normal. So then you got to politely block them. But then they get even madder when you block them. Because now they feel dismissed and rejected by you. So that triggers them even more to stalk you even harder. So what are you supposed to do? You tell me. I blocked, I was on Dr. Phil with my, one of my stalkers. Five years, I had her arrested. I had two restraining orders on her, a complete stranger from Brooklyn. There's no tie. We never dated the same guy. She just saw me on TV and started stalking me. So what do you do? They don't do shit at the police station. They don't do shit to help stalking victims. I promise you. They don't care. It's you against them. You know, you can just do this like, God, will she leave me alone ever? And you're not going to stop posting. People are like, oh, make your page private. Oh, another, oh, you must have went to Princeton with your friend that went to Harvard that told me to block the bitch. <sighs> Go private. Like they're probably not already following me from another fake page that they haven't even made their self known from. So when I go private, they're still following me from the private page. Or I'm going to be bullied and change my daily routine because some sicko decides that they want to stalk and harass me. Never that. Because then they win. And I would never change anything I do to make them feel comfortable. You're not going to bully me into putting my shit private when this is one of my sources of income. And you're not going to deprive my other followers and fans and friends of anything that I have to do because I'm leery because of your little stalking ass wants attention from me. Because that's all it is. They want attention. Stalkers want attention. Stalkers are confused. They're haters. And what's a hater? It's someone who loves you. And they want attention from you. And they can't be you. So they hate you. They hate you because of who you are. That's the most dumbest shit I ever heard of in my life. Like, go hate on Beyonce. Like, I'm not even, like, I'm not even worth hating on like that. Like, go hate on somebody like that. Like, at least she could dance in heels for two hours and not even, like, mess up. Like, she's the shit. I can't do none of that. Like, there's really not much to hate on. Like, <laughs> I sit here with my dog and crack jokes about carnival cruises. But there's something in me, in my spirit, and in my soul, and in my good character that drives their little demons crazy. They're devils. And guess what? 
they have to deal with it. Because I'm never going to stop anything. Nothing, anything they do ain't stopping nothing. They're not, they, that's like, when are you going to realize all your shit? You're wasting your time and energy because you're not stopping anything I do. And you could go talk about me everywhere. You're only making those people curious to see who I am, and then they end up loving me. Then you even get madder. You get madder because now you, you showed me to, to your friends, and now they love me. Now you're really stalking and mad. You played yourself. <laughs> Dummy. That's like you showing a hot guy. Oh, girl, I can't stand this motherfucker. This big dick motherfucker. Fucker, fuck the shit out of me for five hours. Look at his ass on Instagram. And then you're surprised because bitches are following him now. You showed him. You showed them the big dick, motherfucker. Now you surprised that they following him? Bitches going to do what a bitch going to do. Ho on be a hoe. Right? But you, you showed him the page. So who's really should have showed these thirsty bitches the guy's page, right? So that's what the stalkers do. They'll go around and be like, look at this white devil bitch. Look at her. Ah, look at this bitch Chrissy. She thinks she's all that. Man, she's trash. She's a bum bitch. Look at her. She's really 49 years old. She's this. She's that. She's that. And they'd be like, damn, Chrissy got some big ass titties. Chrissy got a fat ass. Chrissy got dimples. Chrissy kind of cute. Follow Chrissy. Thanks. Thanks for the free advertisement, stalker. That's what I do. They're so obsessed with hating you that they don't even realize they're helping you. You understand? Let's think things through first. You gotta start thinking things through before you do dumb shit, people. Like, not y'all. But I'm just saying, like, people in general got to just think. They don't think about, like, hello, what I'm saying about what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? What you're saying about me says more about you, right? If I'm walking around mad and, oh, that Marge Tiffany, that chihuahua dog of Chrissy's, Dog thinks she's so cute because she's modeled in dog fashion shows. Look at that dog. Oh, I hate that dog. Send you right to Marge Tiffany's page. Marge Tiffany got 100 more followers. Woof, woof. Thank you. That's for Marge. My dog voice. So I'm just saying, people need to stop. This social media shit is truly the devil. It's truly out of control. It really is. People take it too serious. No, I know that, Tommy. I've never been a bum bitch, but in there, let them tell it. Like, what else can they really say? Like, but my thing is, but look how angry they sound talking about someone. Oh, Chrissy, yeah, her dog. Ugh. You look ugly talking about people. I'm sorry. Like, I might hear sitting here and crack jokes about some strangers on the Carnival Cruise dancing to MC Hammer. Okay. But that's just fun. I don't know them in real life. But me to sit here and just slander someone all day is bizarre to me. That makes me look like a bitter bitch, right? That makes me look crazy. That makes me look like a bitch. Listen, I have fun. I may crack on a dude or whatever, like if they act stupid or whatever. Fine, whatever. It's just fun. But you think I would ever even give another female that satisfaction? of walking around with her name in my mouth all day, talking about, girl, you know such and such. You know, you know her. She got the bacterial vaginosis. She ain't even gone and got the flagell. <laughs> now she can't go on the carnival cruise. <laughs> How would that look? How would that look? That wouldn't make her look crazy. That makes me look crazy. People are like, damn, you girl, you know what? You need to get a hobby, Chrissy. You too wrapped up with this chick. And I'll be like, you're right. Think about it. Yeah, leave, leave shit alone, man. I'm telling you, the best thing is to ignore them. Exactly, Damon. She is. 
leave people alone, ignore them, block them, and move on. They hate it. Because then they don't have a chance to try to insult you with their weak-ass insults. Which nobody cares. You can call me any name in the book. I promise you I won't cry. I promise you I don't care. Okay? So, you know, it's sad. All right, I got to make a phone call. And I got to take my blood thinner. I'm going to bed. I'm going to watch the rest of my show on Hulu, the Obsessed series. I will come back and I will save this um, this live. But yeah, I love you guys. I love you, I love you, I love you. Mm, I love everyone so much. I'll come back one more often. I really got to get the YouTube set up. Where can you put stuff where they don't censor you so much? This is just too much. All right, guys. Bye, everybody. Low battery mode turned off. Yeah. Good night, Michelle.